Hi, welcome to my ingredients analysis, application, and wear test of the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Lip Repair Balm. If you're not interested in the ingredients, I have timestamps down below in the description box as well as clickable timestamps pinned as the first comment of this video. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. My videos help you to become a more informed consumer because I dive deep into the ingredients using evidence-based research and let you know what those ingredients are, what they're doing in the formulas, and if they're potentially harmful or not. You have absolutely every right to know what is in your cosmetics, skincare, and hair care products that you use. And here on my channel, I help you do just that. So let's get into these ingredients. The first ingredient is great for dry skin. It's petrolatum, and this comes from crude oil. But don't be alarmed because this is a highly purified ingredient and it's also FDA approved. Petrolatum is an occlusive moisturizer and that means it's going to help to decrease trans epidermal water loss, which essentially means it's going to keep all that moisture in your lips in your lips, it's not going to let it escape. So your lips are going to feel very soft and very moisturized, which is such a great and desirable feeling going into those winter months. The next ingredient is coconut oil. And this is another occlusive moisturizer with very nice skin conditioning properties. This is going to help the lips feel incredibly supple because it is full of fatty acids. There's also always a bit of a fragrance with coconut oil, so we'll have to see if this lip balm smells a bit coconutty. We now move on to beeswax, so that means that this is not a vegan formula. Beeswax also works as a texture enhancer and it gives the lip balm a very silky feel as well as a lot of flexibility. It's a very flexible type of wax. This is also an inclusive moisturizer and it works as an emulsifier. It's going to help to keep the oil and the water components of the lip balm together. Soybean oil is also an emulsifier and it's full of fatty acids which are going to really impart a nice suppleness to the lips. Jojoba oil is full of vitamin E and other antioxidants and it also works as a thickener so it's going to give the lip balm a little bit of bulk. Finally, we have allotoin, and this is a plant-derived skin smoothing emollient. So those are the ingredients in this product, pretty short and sweet, and I have to say, I was very pleased with all of them. Now let's get into the application. The Skin Fix Barrier Plus Lip Repair Balm comes in this cute little blue box. It is 12 grams, 0.42 ounces, and retails for $15 US on the Sephora website. It does have this little red tag at the top that says Best of Beauty Award winner for Allure Magazine in 2016. On the rest of the box is information about the product, and if you haven't seen my video yet on how to read cosmetics and skincare ingredients labels, I encourage you to do so. I go into how ingredient how ingredients labels work, as well as different symbols that you can see on product packaging and other information. When I open up the box, I see the lip gloss inside. And when I pull it out, it is just your typical tube lip gloss. I will say on the back, the writing is in white and it is a bit hard to read. So when I open up the lip gloss itself, it has just your typical slanted type of applicator. I'm not detecting any scent whatsoever. So when I look at the product itself, it has this whitish, translucent type color to it. It looks like Vaseline coming out of a tube. I'm now going to apply this on my lips and my lips are completely dry. I took off the lip gloss I had on earlier. It feels like I have a more liquidy form of Vaseline on my lips. It's clear so it doesn't give any color to my lips whatsoever and 
It feels like something I would typically use before I go to bed at night or if I'm going on a walk outside in the later part of the day. I'm now going to go pick up my kids from school. I'm not going to touch my lips at all. I'll just let it rest. And when I come back, I'll check in with you and let you know how my lips are feeling and how much of the product is still on. It's been about an hour and a half since I saw you last. I just got home from the school pickup and I wanted to check in with you and show you how this lip balm has worn on my lips. And if you're wondering where it is, so am I. In the last hour and a half, the only thing that my lips have touched is my water bottle. I had some water along the way and the lip balm completely transferred off my lips onto my water bottle. And not only did I lose the product, but I have to say, my lips feel bone dry, not only from the outside from touching them, but they feel dry from within too. So I feel like I've been left with dehydrated, dry feeling lips. Overall, I have to say that this product was a disappointment for me and I was really expecting to like it. The price of it, $15, is just astronomical and this is a product I really can find for three or four dollars in Target that will work just the same if not better. So I think that I paid for the brand name as well as the fact that it's sold in Sephora. The ingredients are, I mean the petrolatum is very similar to a Vaseline type product and I was hoping that the extra oils inside would give it a nice little kick, but that just doesn't seem to be the case for me. So I will use this up. I do like the size of it. It's great for putting in my purse or putting in my pants pocket or a jacket pocket, but this isn't something I could see myself repurchasing in the future. So that's my review of the Skin Fix Lip Balm and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now to Lauren O'Connell Beauty TV, and let's navigate together through the world of beauty.